Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. Today I'm going to be talking about the QKZ HBB Con IEMs. This is a collaboration between the company KQZ and Hawaiian Bad Boy, aka Bad Guy Good Audio. He was the one who tuned these IEMs. A major shout out to Lin Soul for sending me this set. They're only $39. I'll leave links down in the description below where you can pick these up. Now I'm going to hit you with them tech specs. Now I wanna talk about what I don't like, which is the stock cable. So I'm gonna give you a quick unboxing. I'm gonna take this sleeve off and I'm gonna open up the box and I'm going to show you the stock cable. Here it is, it is doo-doo. It's a little better than what KZ puts on their IEMs because the, it's a 3.5 millimeter plug. It's straight, it's not L-shaped, but it's not doing it for me. Also inside the box, you get this little coin with uh, Bad Guy Good Audio's insignia on it. Another thing I don't like about these IEMs is the stock silicone tips. They are too damn bulbish. The medium ones came on by default. They hurt my ears. I could not wear them for more than an hour. And these pretty much made the IEMs non size sleeper approved. So I'll show you what else comes inside the box. Now for a $40 set of IEMs, He's got a lot of accessories. And one of the coolest ones is this plastic carrying case. Someone said that it looks like the container that you put your retainer in, bars. And I have to agree with that. It, it does look like uh, something your, your Nana, your Mima would put her dentures in. But this is where, the, where you would store your IEMs when you're not listening to music. So not bad. Now, when it comes to how I got the cons configured. I did a triple win Zomba or Zombie uh, cable. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can buy this. I got this for Amazon for less than $10. This is a nylon sheath cable. Very simple, straightforward cable. Very nice. Looks good. Feels good. No memory. Ear hooks are good too, unlike the stock cable for the cons. And when it comes to silicone tips, you already know me, CP 100 plus made specifically for IEMs. Much, much, much better than the stock. Your mileage may vary with the stock ear tips, but this is a no for me. That hurt my ears. I feel like I had a, a screwdriver jamming into my brain. Now, moving on to what I do like is the sound quality. Sound quality is amazing. And it's due to the tuning by Bad Guy Good Audio. According to him, the tuning is laid back, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about the bass first. Now, the first time I put the cons in my ears, I fell in love. You're getting unbelievably rich bass with these, with plenty of attack behind it. It's like a pit bull's jaws. It just latches onto you and doesn't let go. It's got some bite. You can insert any good adjective when talking about the bass. The bass is certified. Nas, Wu-Tang, Travis Scott, Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. If all you listen to is rap music, then these are gonna be a good set for you. So how does the mid-range sound? Great. It doesn't matter if it's pop or jazz, the mids are clear and natural. Listening to Take Five by the Dave, was it Brubuck Quartet? I do not know how to pronounce that. I noticed a flaw towards the halfway point of the song there's this squeaking noise which i assume is the piano pianist shifting his weight in the chair is every so often you hear that squeak so the mids are really good of oh, the the pianos the the saxophone the trumpets the horns all oh, the mids are so good they're really good this is these seem like these sound like excuse me a hundred dollar or two hundred dollar like hybrid set but these do have dual drivers inside they have dual dynamic drivers one that handles the bass and another that handles the mids and the treble speaking of treble really good as well listening to nothing else matters by metallica at the beginning of the song the guitars are playing high-pitched notes and they don't sound piercing to my ear so i would say HBB, he did well when tuning the cons, so they'll sound airy and light when it comes to the treble. It's a laid back, sort of V-shaped sound under $50. So wrapping up this video, I'd like to say that the price of entry-level IEMs have gotten far cheaper 
over the years that it seems like now most companies is like a race to the bottom and innovation is much needed in the audio market now more than ever. Companies producing cheaper products for hobbyists like myself and whoever's watching this video. So to recap, laid back bass, natural mids, non-fatiguing highs, tuned by, bad guy good audio, HBB, he is raggedy as hell because now I'm gonna hunt down the rest of his collabs because I like how the con sound. So if you made it to the end of the video, Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Thanks again to Lin Soul for sending me this set. And before I leave you, let me remind you of something. those for good measure and oh don't forget about those oh and uh thanks to max weinbach and harmless carl thanks for the giveaway septian he didn't fall off he fell behind videos is coming enjoy your life enjoy your sound i'll see you in the next video whenever i got some energy oh my god i gotta I gotta edit this whole video oh